So uh, Judy told me, who invited me to come here to present, that uh, <clears throat> I would like to ask, would like me to tell something about America. <laughs> Uh, because we're focusing on North American division in this quarter. And I thought, well, the only thing that I really know well about America is Andrews University. Uh, that's the place I dedicated 19 years of my life. That's quite a long time. I was there twice at Andrews University, first as a student from 93 to 2001, and then a, as a professor from 2008 to 2019. So I heard of Andrews a lot when I was growing up uh, in Poland, and I've always held Andrews in a super high estimation that this is an amazing place. I never dreamed that I'll spend 19 years of my life in Berrien Springs where Andrews University is located as a student and as a professor. Okay, first of all, on that picture I forgot to mention, at the center of campus is the statue of John Andrews, John Nevin Andrews, he was a missionary to Europe and he's on his way to Europe uh, with his daughter Mary and, and son Charles and they landed in Switzerland as first officials, first official missionaries to Europe from Seventh-day Adventist Church. The first unofficial missionary was a Polish man by the name Michael Tchaikovsky. I'm very proud of that as a Polish person. But official uh, official. Uh, missionary to Europe was Andrews, and I'll tell you a little bit about him in a moment. So, um, he is, that's right, now we can see, wonderful. So this is the country of Australia, we're flying to, uh, flying to uh, United States in a moment, okay, we'll be there. So in the right hand side, as I said, you see the Great Lakes, Andrews University is located in Michigan. So Lake Michigan is the one uh, the bottom one, so now we're going to go to uh, Michigan, okay? So this is the state called Michigan. And on the left, you can see Lake Michigan. On top, there is a Lake Superior, and on the right, there's Lake Huron. And this is the state of Michigan. Michigan is this, like, it looks like a glove a bit, and has this, this part of the hand, you can see it like this. That's Michigan, it's also this upper side, upper part of Michigan. And Andrews University is located in southern part uh, of, um, of the state. Uh, of the, you see the lake on the left side is the city of Chicago. On the right hand side, when we go there, this is where the location of Andrews University is. Okay, right here, and you will see the campus in a moment. That's the campus of Andrews University right here. Looks small, but it's quite big actually. Uh, quite extensive, has a lot of land around this. So a little bit of history of Andrews University. Uh, it was founded in 1874 as Battle Creek Missionary College. Uh, it was a Battle Creek, as you may uh, remember, was a center of Adventism. Battle Creek is lo located at the center of Michigan. This is where uh, headquarters of Adventist Church were located from about 1860s to 1890s, where everything was moved to uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, in 1901, from Battle Creek, uh, the brothers were, brethren wanted to move uh, the college to somewhere outside in a quiet area, um, and they found a big farm, Garland Farm, in southwestern Michigan, about two hours um, east from Chicago. So Chicago is located about two hours' drive, and they, na they named the college Emmanuel Missionary College. And Emmanuel Missionary College continued to grow, and in 1974 it was renamed as Andrews University, uh, honoring the, that missionary I was just talking about, John Nevin Andrews, first Adventist. He was not only first Adventist missionary, he was also first Adventist theologian. The school continued to grow over the years, and today Andrews University is a flagship uh, university, flagship educational institution, Adventist educational institution around the world, operated by the General Conference, together with Loma Linda and uh, the school in Philippines, the university in Philippines and in Africa. So let me tell you a little bit about Andrews University. 
uh, until the pandemic hit, and this, the picture you see is the library at the center of uh, university, until the pandemic, from what I knew, I, from what I know, it had about 3,000 and a half, three and a half thousand students on campus. So that's a quite a good number of students, about 250 full-time faculty. Uh, with the extension schools all around the world, it would be about uh, 12,000 students altogether worldwide. Not, I'm not sure about figures right now, but 12,000 students around the world is quite a, a big number. Andrews uh, University comprises of eight schools, or just whereabouts eight, about eight schools, I think. At this moment, there was a little bit of a restructure, but there is a School of Architecture, School of Arts and Sciences, and uh, the School of Arts and Sciences has a School of Religion, equivalent of Avondal College. Uh, there's a School of Communication Sciences, School of Business Administration, an administration that offers MBAs and bachelor's degrees, School of Education, a School of Health Professionals. We've got nursing, uh, Andrews has nursing, pre-med and physical therapy school, and my school, Seventh-day Adventist Theological Seminary. Uh, that educates uh, pastors from around the world. Most of the schools that you see offer undergraduate degrees on a BA level. Uh, business uh, and administration school offers masters. School of Education offers doctorates. And Seventh-day Adventist Theological Seminary offers uh, masters and doctorates. And pastors from all around the world come to Andrews University. Uh, people who want to work as pastors, so they come and this is, they receive Masters of Divinity. Um, this is a professional course or do MAs in religion and theology. Or if they have desire to study further, they can do doctorates at um, PhDs and doctors of ministry. So uh, my story with Andrews began in 1993. I was a pastor in Castle Hill Church at that stage, and I, when I came to Avondale, I um, had to learn to speak English, and I, I suppose my education was not that thorough. When I ended up in Castle Hill, I felt I needed to kind of educate myself a bit more theologically, and we decided, my wife and I, to go to Andrews University just to study Masters of Divinity and return to Australia. That two years extended into eight, and I completed PhD in, um, in theology, graduating in 2001. So that was my first, year, first eight years at Andrews University. We returned to Australia and I was a pastor in Tasmania for a while and then went to Fiji. And in 2008, unexpectedly and kind of unwillingly, <laughs> unexpectedly that we received a call back again to Andrews University to seminary, theological seminary to teach. Uh, it was a difficult decision for us, but we decided to move from Fiji to Andrews University. And uh, we ended there in 2008. And I became a professor of historical theology at the seminary. And my wife embarked on her own studies, uh, doctoral studies in religious education. And this was a second lot of my stay at Andrews University. 11 years I taught there. And my wife was also hired as a professor of discipleship in 2016 when she graduated with her PhD. Andrews was an amazing experience for us. We would have loved to stay, but Australia called our name. We have family in Australia and we love Australia. And despite of the fact that we loved Andrews, loved the area where we lived and loved educating young people from all around the world, we decided to return to Australia in 2019, two years ago. So this is a little bit of a story, mission story about this missionary college at Andrews. Uh, that place still is very dear to my heart and to my wife's heart and our girls actually, uh, my older daughter was educated there for two years and they both came to Avondale. So if you ever think about Andrews University, now you know where it is located and how it looks just a little bit, please make sure when you go home, Google it and see more pictures from Andrews because I couldn't show you everything that I could show you. So thank you for listening and happy Sabbath.